So I'm feeling like maybe in the battle between classical and Bayesian statistics, mm, 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 they got us beat. Just enjoy the math a lot. It's, it's neat stuff. I tell my students, and, and you can laugh, but a good math book, cup of coffee, I'm happy. I erased my bullseyes, but if it's biased, a lot of people come into the general ed classes and they look and say, you know, geez, I'm not into math, uh, but uh, my hope is that they walk out of there with an appreciation of it anyhow, and I also really hope that they walk out of there feeling like they can do it. Cross term, I can pull out the numbers. I don't really think I try anything uh, special. I think the ticket is, is that I really like what I'm doing and I think that that comes across. Okay, well, let's put one in there. Okay, there we go. I think they realize rather quickly that, hey, whatever's going on, this cat is into this stuff. And I try to convince them that, hey, this is pretty neat. This basically just tells us what the coefficients are in the model. Really like my students. I feel like I get to know them. My class sizes are small enough. I get to know what they're about. So maximum likelihood estimation, and that's the reason, as Derek said, we don't have residuals and things. I don't want to just, you know, know somebody's, you know, sitting in seat five and they get a 92 on the last test. I want to know that they're on the equestrian team and they also, you know, like to play the guitar and that they sing. Well, that would be nice to know. If you're teaching to stadiums, you can never even you know, go there.